In this first section of the book of Deuteronomy, Moses is calling the people to remember how God led the people of Israel and how faithful he's been to them. You know, the book of Deuteronomy has been called the longest farewell speech in recorded history. But it's so much more than Moses just saying goodbye or giving his final sentiments. Through the words recorded in Deuteronomy, Moses is preparing the people for their new life in the Promised Land. And one of the most important responsibilities of an older generation is teaching a younger generation the Word of God and the principles of godly living. And that is what Moses is doing in today's chapter. You see, even Moses' mistakes were a lesson for the next generation. You'll see as you read chapter 3 today that you'll be reminded that Moses wasn't permitted to enter the Promised Land because of his impulsive sin of striking the rock recorded for us in Numbers chapter 20. See, Moses knew that God had so much more to do on behalf of his people, and that's why he says in chapter 3 verse 24, O sovereign Lord, you have begun to show your servant your greatness and your strong hand. You see, Moses didn't want to miss any of the magnificent things God was going to do in Canaan, but the Lord wouldn't permit Moses to enter the land. But before Moses died, he was allowed to see the land from the top of Mount Pisgah. See, all that Moses said in his farewell was to remind the Jews that they were a privileged people, the people of God, separated unto the Lord. You see, today, I believe we, as God's people, need that same kind of reminder. Pastor Warren Wearsby is accredited with this quote, it's when we forget our high calling that we descend into low living. Today, don't forget all that God has done, his faithfulness, his love, his grace, his forgiveness. See, as we seek to invest our, in our current and in the next generation of the church, let's not forget the greatness and the grandeur of our God and that we're his people. For as Pastor Warren Wearsby said, it's when we forget our high calling that we descend into low living.